video for today uh, to test out a new camera I got for the PlayStation 4. I've been on the PlayStation 3 camera for a while while doing these videos and I just now got a PlayStation 4 camera. So this test video is not going to have my normal rules. Uh, my normal rules would be uh, doing a Bible verse at the beginning of the video. Uh, this time I'm just going to jump in. But I am going to say a word of encouragement though. Uh, and one of my words is do not give up. Give me one second for my check. My check is done. And uh, one of my words is don't give up. Uh, even if it feels too hard. Uh, guys, give me one more second, guys. Just hold on a minute. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, so don't give up, and uh, make sure you live alone before you do any broadcast. Just my opinion. Um, today uh, we're gonna do the creative team real quick. I went over the jersey details in my last one, and uh, I didn't make it to getting a team. So we're actually going to go into that detail a little bit more. Uh, so we went into the uniforms. Uh, we did the logo branding, team uniforms. Uh, didn't I, I don't think we, we're going to do the uh, arena mascot and uh, the rosters today. Uh, so with the uh, arena, you can customize anything you want. Take a look at mine right here, real quick. This is all I got on my arena so far. And what we're doing is we're actually going to describe how you get the logo in the center of the ice and all the colors of these neat little chairs down here. Uh, that that is what we're gonna do today and also we're gonna be putting show you how to put your teams together how to draft and if you created the character how to get that character onto your team and uh, I think this is probably why I got one bad review uh, or one thumbs down on my last broadcast because my broadcast kinda cut off on me for some odd reason but anywho, this is what we're going to be doing today, and we'll start off with the arena. Uh, here's your arena settings: chairs, sidelines, all this mess. You can. There's a lot of customization to this, and making your your home team feel right at home in the NHL 19. And um, these are, I mean, you, people who already know this don't gotta watch this but these are some of the people who gets pretty upset when they can't find the creative team and but the NHL 19's got that covered I think that's pretty self-explanatory okay as you can see this is my current setting and this is pretty much the layouts of your stands you can change the layouts at any time of how you want it and as you can see you got totally totally different different stand layouts um, 
So you can do you can do your personal opinion layouts, but me personally, Stadium Five, uh, it looks more like the Carolina Hurricane Stadium. So this is why I go with it. That's why I go with this stadium. And vice versa, you can do this all day long. Uh, change the setups that you want. Okay, well, if there ain't, I'll, I'll know where it's at. Uh, and there's your color for your zones right there. I'm going to leave all that color the way I got it now. And the green's going to show up of what color is going to go where. And uh, all that mess. So, main wall color. My favorite sports TVs. I'm keeping that like it is too because that kind of reminds me of the Carolina Hurricanes uh, Arena Stadium too. I, and I also like this setup. Of course you do got different ones like I, you can barely see that one. This one. That one. And whatever this is. I mean, they got a lot of screens up there. And fit one that fits your style, I guess. And uh, just go from there. That's all you can do. I prefer to leave like that one. You can fix your nets. Um, there's only two settings with that, though. Here's your chairs, I'm, think I'm assuming. Yes. Pattern. Set up your pattern of your shares. You got different types of patterns. You got pattern three, pattern five patterns. And then, uh, pretty much is your color design of what you want your chairs to be. I kind of like mine a little. That way it's easier to count, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if that's the business side of it. And you can change the color, color on those too. Um, and it's gonna do like I normally told you. Uh, stair color. Let's see what it is. Oh yeah. Stairs. What color do you want your stairs? I kept mine yellow. Precaution and just because it matches the color scheme. You also got your boards, which is really weird. Um, you can change this color, but I'm gonna keep it traditional red. Just for the fun of it, materials. Uh, I got this LED. Uh, LED to change the color of the LED or animation, please. Manage the effects must be applied. Stadium effects must be applied. I really don't know how to work that yet. So if you do, please come in at the bottom. Because see, it's it's not letting me. It's not letting me go. All right, this one right here is pretty self-explanatory. Your logo layout in the center of the ice. Uh, mine's pretty basic. Uh, there's not really much I can do with it given the fact the choices I have. Uh, to me it's kind of for this sword and shield I would bring the shield down a little bit for this one. That would actually work for it so I don't know how they got that one slanted just a little bit more than I wanted to. Uh, but again this is where you make your logo designs on yourself. And if you don't want it, bada bing bada. I like my logos, so I'm gonna keep them there. Uh, logo, what type of logo you want? You got this one. I got my two, my two logos. And then the line, you can change the line, what type of line strips you want. 
we won't get into that. I kind of like all my stuff up to this point. And here's a neat feature that I kind of like that they added for the uh, uh, for the pro er, for the NHL 19. Uh, you got these mascot stuff, which I didn't find a dragon, which was kind of disappointing. They do got a shark and a bulldog. And whatever that is. Spartan. Horse. Bulldog. Okay guys, can you give me one more second while I go do this please? Thank you very much. Sorry again, guys, and I'm not going to put my sound clothes back in, but i got to hurry up. Uh, so that's pretty much all that, uh, the intros. Mine's basic. Uh, I mean, you got a lion, a hawk, and a snake. Not, not really much dragons. I, I do wish that the NHL can actually put more... Uh, designs in here or let us create one that would be an actually pretty darn cool one if we can get it done um, stadium effects here's what I was thinking okay so I did figure that out okay so that's that's what my lines are gonna be looking like There, there's your LED lightings. Change the color like normal. Uh, here's what I was. Boom. I got, I got yellow smoke. As you can tell, this is all yellow themed. Uh, or black and yellow. And also have flames for now. Probably not gonna get bored. Get the way out. I think I might go with that one here soon. We'll just do something that. that because that's that's pretty cool. I don't care who you are. Alright, goal intros. Goal effects. Spotlights and all that. Eh. Skater effects. See the type out. I really don't know what I got. Yeah. I don't really do that much on these, uh, but those are your effects. And uh, 
that's just pretty much all this is. It's just the signature effects, you know. What kind you want. And I am about to switch the color of that right now. And this is how, this is how you switch your colors. And this is only going to have the one zone. I'm going to switch it to the yellow. Alright, I gotta hurry up and finish this up. And your gold light. We've already done all that. Pretty much the same thing. Power play, win, go nuts with it. That's how I like to do it because it, if you don't if you don't got nothing uh, to go with it, you, you gotta have a little celebration, you know. <gasps> okay. Same thing for all this other stuff. Showed you how it's done. And if I haven't covered anything and you know where it's at now, go in, cover it, see what it is, play it yourself. Uh, mascots, this is going to be a little funny one. Okay, so this little guy is mine. Uh, I wanted to call him Spyro, but the name's already taken. Uh, but I call him Pete. Pete the Dragon. Uh, he looks pretty darn good. He doesn't look like a dragon as much as I want him to. Oh no, wait, I called him Arthur. My bad. His name is Arthur. His jersey number, 77. He's got a weird tail. I mean, it, it's it's funny how this how this thing is. So Arthur right here is my team's dragon mascot. And again, he does not look anything like a dragon from the shoulder down. Funny. Got the head, the body. You can customize all, all his little stuff from head to toe. The customization's pretty pretty darn good, but yeah, they let you customize a mascot. I think that's new for this year, um, but yeah, this is how big a creative team has gotten over the years, and I, I like it. I like it a lot. And now rosters. Here's the important thing I wanted to hurry up and get to before I have to go somewhere. Rosters. This is the most important about your creative teams. Okay, you actually have a salary cap. Okay see that right there this is how much more money that I can spend to trade off players and get better players if I don't feel like my team is up to snuff up to stuff and of course uh, your lineup can be up to 21 or up to 40 and uh, I'm at 21 right now because my roster is pretty darn good 13 fours 16 defense and two goalies pretty much my basic setup for the team. I made sure I had enough of uh, skaters and so on and so forth. So let's see. 13 divided by... Let's see. 3. 3. I got 3 is 9. I got... I got four lines with one extra man to spare, and uh, and I got three three lines of defense. I can go more if I want to now, uh, since I can throw in some other guys in there. I could probably throw in uh, two more attackers, not real great attackers, but uh, I could throw in two more forwards and have four lines, and probably get two more defensemen to make to make a fourth line out of them. And here's how we're going to do it. Well, I guess we'll do it now. Uh, I'm going to go on the free agents because uh, if I pull people from other team now, I'm going to go over this salary cap. I am not used to these green screens yet. Uh, this salary cap. This salary cap, it's in the green, so I can actually board some more players. Uh, let's see. Captain, center, uh... 
Let's see, we'll get two more wides. We'll get this guy. And as you can see, my salary cap is gone lower. And since I don't got that many snipers, I don't think we'll put him in there too. So that is 15. That ends up with my de attackers. Defenseman. We'll go with this guy. Oh, I've already got him. Okay. What about this guy? Yes, I do. Okay. Let's see. I already got myself. What about this guy? No, I do not. Okay, that's one defenseman. One defenseman down. Let's see if I can get another one that I don't already have. Um... Already exist. Already exist. And does it. Okay, there 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 is my uh there is my team. And as you can see my salary cap has not moved uh since uh, since I done that. I wouldn't put no more goalies on there because two two two's enough. Two two's really enough goalies. <laughs> but uh that that is how you uh put characters or rosters in your teammates uh on the board. As you can see I got, I'm up to 25 out of 40 players. You can keep going up if you want to. I try to stay at the minimum with three lines. Uh, four lines, we moved it to four lines today. Uh, if, if you want to pay the uh, same amount of money, you're only going to have a few lines. Uh, I try to keep up with, with the salary count and the few lines that I've got. Uh, I'm gonna end it there today, uh, just because those—that's pretty much how I want my team as of right now. And uh, yep, yeah, that is—that is my created team lookout. Okay. Now, after you get your team together, you do your normal stuff, save it. And uh, it's gonna save your team. Now here's also something you can do if I can figure out how to do it one more time. Uh, I think it's rosters. After you get done with your creative team, uh, Yes, right here. After you get done with your creative team, you go to rosters and you go to captains and jerseys. Okay, pretty much what this is going to be doing is you're going to be uh, customizing who's your who's your team, okay, who's your team captains and all that. As of right now, I am team captain, my player number seven. That's my creative team for me. Uh, he's captain. Cindy Crosby's assistant, along with Alexander Lovechkin, and mostly people's gonna hate me for that because I mean those are pretty darn good players, which they are second to none on any team. If they go to, they are always gonna be captain. But sorry guys, I prefer to put myself as captain, especially in a video game where I can play and do as I feel or want. Uh, so these are these are pretty much my my guys right here. Uh, as you can see, you can probably also switch their jersey numbers too. I do want to give a shout out to my main man Folk Justin Folk for staying with the Carolina Hurricanes. 
dude. I am so grateful, especially after your Noah Hannafin left us. Still kind of mad about that. Um, I'm still trying to find what team he's on because if I get another defenseman on my team, that's definitely gonna be that's definitely gonna be his spot. Uh, because Noah Hannafin and Justin Paul was a real good team together. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. So after you get your team together, you can go to teams and rosters and go to these jerseys. And now if I can pull up mine, you can also change the number. Just press X and all the numbers that are in white are still available numbers. And most of the, most of the time, you won't get a same player that's got the same number, so they'll sign, they'll automatically sign their original numbers to it. And uh, when you put your number on for uh, your character on your created player, it's usually if you pick it first, he's gonna usually have that same number, and uh, that's what I try to do most of the time. All right, so that is my last bit of information on the creator teams and uh, thank you for bearing with me uh, creator teams to me is the favorite most favorite part of the in uh, EA games especially with NFL NHL and so on and so forth uh, thank you guys for watching this video please like and subscribe at the bottom uh, tell me how I did. Tell me if I gotten any better. And uh, this camera actually is doing pretty well. I went went up to the PlayStation 4 camera. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I was using a PlayStation 3 camera, and my my sensors was kind of a little off uh, with my move controllers on Beat Saber, which we're gonna probably do that. Uh, do another Beat Saber video. Uh, this Saturday so please stay tuned for that uh, it is gonna be somewhere around 12 o'clock at night just because that's when I'm gonna get off of work this weekend <sighs> work weekend. man I just lose a bad taste in my mouth all right guys well uh, that, like I said, that is it for my broadcast. Please like and subscribe and tell me what I'm doing right. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. I'll take any advice to get my videos out there. And all shout outs to all my friends, family, and old acquaintances now, I guess you can call them. I haven't seen them in a while. But uh, again, guys, thank you and I appreciate it. I think I should turn this off now because I have, I have literally... Alright guys, catch you later, and uh, may God bless you, may God bless y'all. Oh, and uh, hey, it's Christmas time, yes, Christmas, not Xmas, Christmas, it is Christmas time. Be kind to your brothers, brothers and sisters, that's all around you, and for all my younger generations, including my generation, Stop the protestings for a month. I bet y'all can't even do that. That is a challenge. No protests for a month. And what y'all do for protesting ain't really protesting. That's like... I'm surprised half of y'all ain't in jail already. Uh, but again, guys. No protests this month. Let the spirit of Christmas do its thing. And hey, if the Christmas fins you, well, uh, sorry, buddy, but... Uh, a hundred plus thousand years we called it Christmas for that long you're not gonna make me change uh, saying happy holidays no if you're uh, if you're somebody else from a, another faith and religion comes up to me and say hey happy Hanukkah I'm gonna say yeah happy, happy Hanukkah and Merry Christmas that's all I'm gonna do and you can't stop me from saying Merry Christmas and we all know why you don't like it because it's got Christ in it again guys sorry for that little ramble See you next time. Firebug out.